Hello everyone, hi, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Yakuza 0 Part 49. In the previous video, we, uh, you know, we, we did stuff. It was cool. Uh, I think we did that thing with Tachibana in Little Asia where we got kicked out and now we gotta go live with the homeless people. First things first though, we're going to lose all of our frames. God, why is this game so freaking weird? Like yesterday, I recorded it perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. This game, today, load it up instant frame drop i just i don't understand it we're supposed to, i was going to uh or well, we're going to go back to our business because i want to progress this uh the little the little business quest chain since we've been uh, neglecting it a little bit uh also i did look up where all the shops were like one of the shops was like down here or no 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 i can't remember where it was but we did buy one i think it was right here and then the other two shops that we could buy is this one and this one, but you have to apparently do the friendship sub stories for them. I don't even know if we've actually gone to the sushi bar yet, but we've started the uh, the friendship thing with the chickadee. Apparently, you have to do all of those first before you can purchase the shops. Okay, so we do have an event now since we bought enough properties. Oh, Mr. President. Hmm? What's the matter? Why are you so flustered? Someone who works for the Leisure King came by. His name was uh, Takashita, I think. Nani. What happened? Did he try anything with you? Yeah. No, uh, he had a message for you. Uh, come to the karaoke bar. Mm. Karaoke bar? Oh, a duel to the death. Karaoke style, I understand. Mm. Yes, uh, what do you think he wants? Uh, to hear us sing Judgment because we're the greatest? Mm. I have no idea, but we're ta we've taken over a lot of his territory recently. He's not going to take that lying down. Okay, I'm going to check it out. But it could be a trap. They might resort to violence again. We'll see. If they want to duke it out, then there's no reason to pick a fight at, at, at a karaoke bar. So don't worry. But still, please be careful. The Leisure King's waiting at the karaoke bar. Time to go. Alright. I didn't actually want to... I just wanted to go save. Well, actually, there's no reason to save. I just loaded the game in. There is such a thing as being a little too addicted to saving. I mean, there really isn't, but... Let's go, uh, let's go pop by the karaoke bar. I just want to take some of your money because you're an asshole. I don't even need it. That's how much we hate you. We're going... We're wasting our time to make your life worse. Does that make you feel good? I hope it does. Ah! Run away! It's, like, really not worth it. I guess maybe in the early game. Um, but, like, even if we got all of his money, it's it's not really uh, that much in the grand scheme of things. Dude, the karaoke... Where is the karaoke bar? It's so freaking far away. That's not the karaoke bar, isn't it? Like, down here? Yeah, yeah, that's the main story, dummy. Um, where is it? Gong parlor, shogi parlor, uh, the place we don't, okay, we're like right here. Place we don't talk about parlor. How are we doing on, uh, items? We could use some. There we go. There's a drugstore just right here. Isn't that a coinky dink? As we listen to someone get their ass beat in the alleyway, but that's not our problem. Yeah, I see. Give me like four of those, and then a few of these. So what is this thing in our inventory? A repair kit. I don't really want it. If I'm being completely honest. They haven't really used weapons at all. Um, yeah, sure. What's the worst you can do? Beat us up? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he's singing Judgment, dude. Whoa, you're amazing, boss. Oh, uh, Q's here. <laughs> hey, Q-san. Long time no see. Why did you call me out here like this? <laughs> oh, come on. Relax. I figured we could just hang out and have a good time. Maybe play a little game. Mm. 
game. Yeah, we uh take off our pants. <laughs> Just to reassure something the five billionaires do to pass the time. To keep things fresh, we can each bet a part of our turf. Whoever wins gets to share the loser's area. What do you think? Exciting, isn't it? Uh, that's crazy. You can take a big hit to your business if you lose. <laughs> that's what makes it fun. I made my money in pachinko, buddy. It takes more than a little risk to scare me. What's this game you're talking about? Oh, I carry it is a karaoke duel to the death. Hmm. Karaoke? Ah. Yeah, these karaoke machines are getting pretty high tech these days. This bad boy scores your singing on a scale of 1 to 100. We're going to battle it out with this scoring system. Whoever racks up more points wins. How's that? Mm. But, <laughs> hey, hey, what? You chicken or something? Nobody calls me chicken. Man, what a wuss. Or maybe you're just tone deaf. <laughs> It'd be painful I lost part of my holdings, but for one, I could grow my share. Maybe I'll take them on. Fine, I'll accept your challenge. I'm confident in my singing abilities. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'll kick things off. The song is Judgment Shin Pan or Shite Shine Pan. I do need to move my mic to make sure that we have the best chance of winning. <laughs> 80 points? Okay, never mind. We, we can get 80 easy. I don't need to worry about trying hard then. Uh. Okay, so we just have to tie him. It's really like my mic kind of blocks the the corner of my screen where some of the prompts show up, but... Okay. I mean, you're getting, you're getting destroyed. You got, you got no chance. Just remember, X is X. You gotta do it for Nishiki, dude. Okay, okay. Unbelievable concentration. All right, we've messed up. GG. I mean, we're doing the. I mean, it's the easiest song, and we've done it like three times now, so we should have an idea of what to do. As long as I just remember that uh, X is X and not X. Oh, kind of missed that one. See, like, those button prompts are kind of blocked by the mic. So I kind of miss them. The do be breaking the law and breaking the world. It's a little rude. I was using that. You can't break the rules. That's against the law, dude. Oh, little light on the presses. Oh, almost missed those. I don't know if we got any bads. It wasn't like perfect or anything, but it's probably like a 95, 96 or. I think we may have missed one completely. 98, dude. That's pretty good. No mistakes, no bads, just seven goods. I'll freaking take it. Looks like I did okay. The Q is like the kid who comes into the test and is like, oh, dude, I'm totally going to fail. And then makes 100. And he's like, oh, man, I can't believe I did that well. I was like, shut up, nerd. You knew you were going to do good. I, I may or may not have been that kid in school. Uh, no way. How can a meathead like this sing with a great voice like that? As promised, I'll take a share of your area. Uh, damn it. Okay. Now we have 75%. Dude, just give up. You've lost. This isn't good, boss. He's already taken a lot of our turf, and now we got to give him even more? Uh -huh. Shut up! Don't you think I know that? Anyway, I've still got a backup plan. Listen, Kiryu-san. Playtime is over. I'm gonna bring my A-game from now on. What you took from me? I'll get it all back. I'll spare no expense. You've been warned. Let's see what you got. Later, man. If we meet again, that day might be your last. If you want to avoid that, it's not too late. Get out while you can. Sounds like the Leisure King's getting serious. Things should be coming to a head soon. 
Okay. Guess we'll go. Uh, because I kind of just want to. I feel like we're a little behind on this uh, this side quest. Or it's not really just a single side quest, but like this uh, side story thing, whatever you want to call it. Because we've this is only the first of the five billionaires, so we're only I guess one fifth of the way through it. So, and I don't really know how far we are into the game, like in the grand scheme of things. I don't know how many chapters there are. I mean, I feel like we're probably like at least half. Maybe a little bit more. I guess it just kind of depends on like how much you mainline the main story. And now they're still not ready to fight just yet. Got 42 milli just for existing. Oh, he's, he's money battling us. All right, we have won. Dude, I hate button mashing so much. Um. Oh wait, let, let's see. Do we want to change our, our staff out? Like, we should probably change you. Because you're at a minus two. Sure. You're, you're at plus two, so that seems good. Um. Where's our, where's our masochist man? Like, I don't know. Do we have to get, like, a max share before we can be done with, a? Uh... Dude, bro, like, I just don't know if it's worth spending that much to, to level up the, the kind of cheap ones. I mean, we're only giving three mil a month, or three mil a tick. Probably not worth spending on the big guys, even though we can actually afford it now. I, I still don't think, I don't think it's worth it. And this is a building. You're very good at building, so get them. Okay. So now we're at 84% share. That seems pretty good. Hey, can we check our uh, the radio station? Didn't we send one in? Let's see, what did we send in? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, it was giving kids porn. As always, we kick off the show with shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Come on, Dulce. Read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. Oh, it is us, dude. I wonder if it's like always supposed to be us. Or if it really matters what sub store you pick. Hello, Dulce Kami-san. Hello, I love your show, regular listener. Uh, yeah, we've listened three times now. The other day, I saw a young boy wanting to buy a shrink rack magazine from a vending machine. Shrink wrapped? Oh no, one of those, huh? The boy told me he asked his mother about the magazines in the vending machine, and she flipped her lid. Well, Kazakun, what would be the right response? The boy was losing faith in grown-ups. That wasn't right, so I decided to buy a magazine for, for him. Wait, what? You lost me there, Judgment, judgment Kazakun. Even as a grown-up, buying something like that is a little embarrassing. Who knows? Maybe someday they'll come in the mail. Or on some sort of some sort of online system. Yes, what does Dulce mean, Dulce kamiya san I have to wonder about the judgment of Judgment Kazikun here. What's in store for that little boy? By the way, the Dulce part of my name means sweet in Italian. I thought it was Spanish, but you know, whatever. I guess maybe the the same word? Or is Dulce in Spanish slightly spelled differently or something? Um, you can't sweet talk me after that little letter, Kazi Kuhn. That one's got me going sour. That's the second time Judgment Kazi Kuhn has had a postcard featured on the show. If you get on the air three times, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Keep your postcards coming, listeners. Alrighty. Another one of my postcards got on the air. <laughs> Mr. President? Is something the matter? Uh, d yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's nothing. Postcard pro, dude. Or pro with the postcards. Also, is like, the game kind of quiet? Is that just me? Um, in audio settings? No, I mean, everything's freaking pumped up. I do like how there's only a master volume. You know? Good thing there's no way to change, you know... 
maybe different types of audio. I hate it when games offer that as an option. I mean, my audio is where it normally is. It just seems kind of quiet. Really, you guys still don't want to don't want to freaking duke it out? I'll have to find something else to do then. Kind of surprised we're not triggering the the final showdown, so to speak. Uh, that was kind of weird. Uh, anytime you walk out, like facing the camera, the controls are like inverted, and it results in me going into a circle. Yes? Uh, no, no, no. I don't want your freaking tissues, lady. Why do you exist? I don't get it. Never talk to me again. Hang. Okay. I guess we can go check out this sushi bar. I don't know if we've uh, started the friendship there. But since apparently we got to do it to buy out his store. We may as well. What can I get you? Um, we want some. We want some. Oh yeah, gotta go for the tamago. That's what Majima likes, right? Thank you for coming today. So, um, was everything all right? Hmm. Yeah, it was good. You liked it? Really? Are, are you sure? Uh, I told you it was good. Why won't you believe me? I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just not quite sure my sushi is up to par. You don't have confidence in your sushi? Ah. Be honest, I just took over this restaurant, and I'm not sure if I have what it takes to do this. Yeah. Taking over an established restaurant at a young age proves you know what you're doing, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, it's not quite like that. It used to belong to my father, but he passed away suddenly. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. He left me this restaurant way before I finished my apprenticeship. He couldn't have picked a worse time to do this to me. Yeah. Oh, boo-hoo. I inherited a business. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, you're being too hard on yourself. Your sushi's good stuff. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for listening. Please come again. It's the beginning of a friendship with the Sushi Jin. Well, let's see. What what do we want to do? Because I, I really don't want to progress the main story. I feel like we're blasting through that a little too quickly. But, uh... Like, I, I want to catch up on this little uh, business stuff, but... I don't really know what, what else to do. Maybe we just have to wait for one more collection to come through? If not, we can just send in another postcard. We're still not ready, eh? Yes, we will postcard it up. Postcard master. Hmm. What would be a good story? Fortune teller. Quest for RQ3. Past word pilgrim. Being a TV producer. The miracle world. Girlfriend with a secret. I kind of like girlfriend with a secret. All right, about shutting down a high school bursera ring. There. Oi. Hey, uh, Marina, can you mail this postcard later? Oi. Oh, certainly. Uh, why are you sending all these postcards to anyway? Or who are you sending? It's a secret. You're finally putting yourself out there, Mr. President. Huh? Uh, just don't read it, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I hope they choose my postcard again. Better tune in to Dulce Camilla's next radio show and check. Okay. You done now? It's, it's ever inching ever closer. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What could we do instead? We could... It could be time to do Shoji. Maybe. Possibly. I think we'll wait for the collection to come in. So we can go talk to convenience store lady. If I talk to purchaser nonsense. I don't, I don't know if it does it make you get a hundred percent share before you move to the next area. I really don't remember. I know I. I think I got to like the sec. I think I maybe finished the second zone of this quest. 
when I played the game originally. No, no, you don't want to talk to us or anything. We're just, we're just getting the friendship up. Okay. We'll probably pause here in a second if it's still not done. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now we're at 85%. That's got to be enough, dude. Right? Right? Uh, I guess we need to need to switch our switch our peeps, our uh, our manager, dude. Guess we'll put uh put Chickadee in charge. I don't Seems like a good idea. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot to level up the stores, but I think it'll be fine. Come on. That's got to be close enough. No? Man, they really, I guess you really do need to get to like 90 or 100%. Huh. Uh, it's kind of, kind of a lot. As always, we kick off the show with shoutouts to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Is it us? Come on, Dulce, read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. Oh, that's not us, dude. Oh, man. I really thought that would work. Well, that answers my question. Apparently not anything works. Maybe... I mean, it's gotta be wacky, dude. It's gotta be wacky. The Yokomichi Silvers is kinda wacky. There we go. Oi. Hi. It's a secret. We're putting ourselves out there. Yep. I really thought the candy raid would work. Well, let's see, let's go find something to do for the rest of the video. Uh, all right, fine, we'll do it. Let's go, let's go embarrass myself trying to play an incredibly difficult game that I don't know how to play. <laughs> See, like, I mean, the only thing I remember about so Shoji is uh, the, the pawns go straight. <laughs> um, they, like, go, they're like little mini rooks. Um, that's pretty much it. Not much else I remember. You can, like, capture pieces and redeploy them, which is kind of neat. I, re I remember thinking that was kind of cool. Like, the game definitely seems interesting. It's just that, like, you know, kind of one of those things where you're like, oh, what do you do in your free time? Oh, I practice shoji for, you know, thousands of hours. It's the most fascinating game. We offer two different types, ranking matches and challenge mode. In ranking matches, players compete with others of a similar rank. Beat an opponent of a higher rank and your rank will go up. It's simple as that. And in challenge mode, they're presented with various shoji scenarios. Okay. It's, uh... Sure. Let's go. The the very the easiest easiest? I guess the bottom one would be the easiest. Now do I remember the rules? No. Not in the slightest. We got peace explanations. Super take back. What? Um Oh, does it give you like a like a undo thing? Okay. Pause pieces to determine who goes first. More pawns, you go first. <laughs> okay, um, rules. So king is king, pawn. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of lances. There's lances that are like mini rooks. Um, so knights are kind of like knights. Silver generals and gold generals are unique. Bishops are bishops and rooks are rooks. Okay. Promoted. The first three ranks is the promotion zone. You turn into gold generals. 
bishops function as a bishop plus a king. Okay. Then you turn into a gold general, and then a rook turns into a rook plus a king. So if you capture them, motive pieces are flipped back over to their original state. Illegal pawn drop. Do not drop a pawn onto the same file column as one of your pawns. Does not apply to promoted pawns. Illegal checkmate. You can't drop a pawn where it checkmates the king. Makes sense. Okay. Uh. Let's uh. Take that. Oh god. Oh shit. He's gotten us, dude. So we can. Do, do we capture a. Uh, we capture straight? I guess we capture straight, unlike pawns and, and normal. So that, that kind of like. I mean, I don't know any chess openings. So these are bishops. We'd have to move our pawns to get our knights out, unlike in normal chess, where you can kind of get them out instantly. Or I say normal chess, but you know, chess. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh god. I just I just wanna I just wanna get my horsey out there. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Kind of like this. Um. Okay, so you can't. So you can only move forward like this. You can't do like L's like that. Okay. Good to know. Wait, what are the? Oh, the yeah, that's our knight. Um, I knew that. Got your generals. I don't really know how to use those yet. Um, where's the rook? Okay, you have one rook and one bishop. Okay, okay. Instead of having two. It's good to know, I suppose. <laughs> that probably is not a very smart move, now that I think about it. But we got a freaking piece out of it, dude. Um... Kind of was like I wasn't really thinking about there being a rook there. I was kind of thinking that they had a bishop, but I guess it's mirrored. I mean, if you were to go, like, what what can this rook do? You can take our bishop, but like, we just take you with our. Wait, do we take you with our knight? We do take you with our silver general, so I don't really care. Do it, do whatever you want, buddy. Um. But the bishop just takes us. That's not a good play. Oh yeah, you could just go there. That's pretty scary. I didn't think about that. Um, I guess we move our general forward. Oh, you can't attack sideways. Um. Okay. You can take our lance. Like, so if we move... What are your movements again? I guess a gold general's attack side. So you can attack... You've got this covered. If you take this lancer, really nothing we can do about it. Like, I feel like we're, we're, we've already lost. Since you can't go back. Um... Let's use, let's use a take back. You know, we're still learning. So what we want to do... But you came here. Alright. That's that's understandable. And then what did we do? We moved our knight forward. Which I think is a f okay. It's not really good. Because the bishop just takes you. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... You may be starting to realize that I don't know how to play chess. Or much less shogi. Because you can't do anything. Like, you're stuck. Maybe if we put our gold general here? Yeah, I, I like that, kind of. Keyword, kind of. And then I really want to get my bishop, like, to be able to do something, maybe. Okay, so we've got our rook out there. 
I mean, we can take this piece for free, but oh no, the Lancer gets us. Never mind. Um. I'm thinking. Kind of. That's stupid. Why would you do that? Um. Yes. Uh. Okay. Uh. Yo, could we? We put our pawn here. I don't know. That's not. I was thinking for some reason. I was thinking that worked like a lancer. Oh, here's the play. You put your pawn here. Is that? Can you do that? I feel like that's cheating. So if you put your pawn there, then the silver, the yes, take with the silver knight. So that's, you know, it's funny, but it doesn't do anything. Which is basically all I know how to do. I only know how to make stupid, dumb plays. So if you take with the pawn, we we get the pawn for free, but we lose our knight. It's not really good. Don't know what I'm doing. I think we just like do that. Okay, you've got your silver general out. Silver generals cannot attack to the sides. That's their weakness. We can get our bishop out. Doesn't really do well. Actually, no, we can't get our bishop out. What are you talking about? Um, I just I can't do anything with these freaking knights. I mean, you can do this, and if he takes with a rook, then we take with this rook. Yeah, that, that seems good. Uh, what? What did you just do? Oh. What did he, what did he take? He took our bishop? Oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not, like, maybe good, but... You know, this rook can't really do anything right now, which is kind of good. I mean, if you go there, I mean... And the question is, if you start putting pressure on this rook, then we're in a bad spot. Maybe, where's our other knight? Here? Yeah, you're useless. I mean, I guess you could get here, and that would let our knight get out, but... Then we lose our, our, our other knight, so that's not a good play. Ooh, I, I don't like that at all. I, I, I've i kind of forgot you could do that. I mean, if we... I mean, that that's really just, like, we're kind of in the same shit position. If we take with a Lancer. What does the upgraded Lancer do? Functions as a gold general. That seems bad. Pretty, like, I'm 90% sure we have Mega Lost. Can I move his piece? And we do have our captured bishop. Um, does he does he save us in any way? Not really. We could put you there, but then you just get captured. But if you get captured, then. But if you just move forward, then that's bad for us. And then we have to take up the lancer. But then the so uh, go for it. Don't tell me I screwed up. It's rude. Now, what does a Lancer do? You're, yeah, you're not like a Rook or anything, okay? So then we blast past enemy lines. What is that? Like, what? Okay. I mean, we put you in check. And then you move forward. I don't know what we do with that information. And we could... Well, no, we can't do that. So we could go here. And take like this. Because he can't take our knight now. At least not instantly. 
So then you go into check and then you just take that piece. Okay. Um, so then you, you'd be promoted, but you just die instantly. Um, so you can't go here. Is there anything we can do with that information? Oh, really? Well, no, if we, so... Yeah, this is, this is good, right? We put you here. Then you have to either go... You'll get upgraded, right? And that means... You function as a king. So that means... Do, do we win? Oh, no, you have a knight. <laughs> I was like, well, wait, he wouldn't be able to go here or here or here. Like, we would freaking win, dude. Ah, oh, that, that makes sense. Uh, let's use our last take back. Dude, it seemed like such a freaking fantastic play. But yeah, him having a knight kind of... What if we put our knight up? And then, well, no, that that's still bad because he, he, you know, we put our knight, he takes with his knight. Then if we take with the bishop, we just die. Just not good. I guess we can just take the pawn. We could go here. Then you just take us with your knight. But if you take us with your knight, then. Our other play doesn't work because it relied on the knight being there. I don't know. Freaking just take me. We screwed up. Uh, did we? I don't know what you did, but. Can I, can I resign? Is there a resign button? Uh, you can do that? That seems like cheating. Okay. Um, let me stalemate him. Is there is there a stalemate? You can't just freaking... I mean, obviously you can, but it doesn't feel like you should be able to. How is that? A, oh, yeah, that's obviously... Heck. Uh... Okay. Um, I'm kind of of the opinion that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, this is getting like very memey. <laughs> um, get checked. Like, shouldn't we get a draw by repetition? Is that not a rule in Shogi? Um, now we've lost our thingy. Okay, now we just lose, right? <laughs> I don't know. Can I, like, resign? Is there a resign? We're on move 91. Can you lose? Like, I feel like you can't lose. You just keep freaking infinitely creating pieces. All right, just just in me, dude. I got, I'm done. I'm toasted. Put me out of my misery. Like, will you just checkmate me? Okay, well now we're done. No, we're still not done. Now we got to be done. Oh, we have a bishop? I didn't know that. Um. Where did we get this bishop from? Wait, no, that's his bishop, right? That's his bishop. What am I talking about? Um. Hey, dude, in me! Thank you! All right. Um, we'll never do that again. I mean, it's very fun. I just don't know what I'm doing.
And I also don't care to put in the time to learn how to know what I'm doing. It does take a... I do wish... I mean, maybe there is a resign button. I just didn't see it. Aww. Bet she's avert... Boy. Whatever, dude. We keep running into each other here. You really spend all your time at the play places like this? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Anyway, how's it going with the telephone card? Show me what you got. Woo! All these girls are super hot. Which one's your favorite? Yeah. I've never really looked at them, to be honest. Yeah, right. No need to be shy, you big old horn dog. We're both grown men. Tell me what you really think. Fine, I guess I had to pick one and be her? Huh? Doesn't she like a girl from that store? Huh? Hey, it does look like her. Oh boy, thinking of her is getting me excited. Oh, oh. A man just blasted all over our cards. You're telling me you really saw it? You saw her? Naked? Oh, 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 got you curious. I, I didn't say that. I just I just don't see how that's possible. You just gotta train your mind. And if you look at a photo so long and you burn holes in it, you'd be able to do the same with anything else. Alright, break's over. Todd time went to gaze upon some girls in the flesh later. Okay. Alrighty. I'm extra cheesy eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.